Funko just recently dropped the Venom Marvel Mystery Box. Now, I know you've seen this. There was a lot of hype built up to this. This was a really awesome advertisement, but I'm afraid that it's going to be a product dump. So let's cross our fingers right now and pray that this is not a product dump. And I know that there's a whole lot of y'all out there right now that are saying you're being very optimistic that this is not a product dump. It did sell out in three minutes, so I'm hoping that Funko did a little bit more planning for this mystery box, and then they have some of the previous ones like the Black Friday or Cyber Monday. I'm not calling anything out by names, but that was a pretty horrible experience nonetheless. And I'm still being extremely optimistic that this is not a product dump. I was hoping that it came in its own box, kind of like a, a one of those, what do they do on Amazon? They do like the whole, like, I, I can't think of the name of it, but they do like a special, it's inside of a special box. And then you, you open that box up. They did not do this. This is the box that they're in. There's three pops in this. We know for a fact that one of these is going to be that Venom. And then the other three, I'm, I'm, I'm really afraid that they're going to be a product dump, but let's pray that they are not. Maybe I can pull these out based on, let's try Let's try and pull out this away first and see if maybe this is the Venom. This is going to be the WinterCon 2022 Loki 1060. 10, 1066 is going to be the number on them. They're showing six of them on the back of the box. You know that they only ever show the commons on the back of the box. So I guess the answer is, this is a product dump. <laughs> so, so we have the Loki. Let's see what they threw in there next. We know that there's only Marvel in here. They threw in the Watcher, the What If 1092. Five of these guys on the back of the box. This one was a Funko Shop exclusive. This one is going to be the New York Con exclusive. Well, it's not exclusive, shared label. And then we have the really awesome Venom. Now, this is the reason everybody went after this box. And then I guess that there was some like thoughts and hopes and prayers out there that this was not a another product dump Funko shame on you for doing that again even though the price of the box wasn't that terrible if you think $30 versus $15 a piece I mean so you did save $15 but you did probably get a pop like the what the what if that you would not have otherwise gotten and maybe I would have never gotten this Loki either I don't really know but we're going to get this Venom open and see what this guy looks at he is number 1142 they're showing six of them on the back of the box we have the whole Venom line going on back there it looks like we're going to start a new Venom line I am super excited to see that this one is a glow pop and I haven't seen anything out there yet. I had purposely avoided all videos about this topic right here because I did not want to know if this was a product dump and it is a product dump. Slightly disappointing. I was hoping that maybe they were going to throw some Freddies in there. Maybe they had another Venom. They could have done so many things with this not to make it a product dump but I guess this is what happens when Funko has a lot of leftover inventory. They dump it on the community which is only going to work for you so long Funko. I promise you the next mystery box you drop is not going to have that much hype because of what you did with this one. You kind of messed that up. Let's take a closer look at this one. So this Venom is really awesome. The glow on him, the glow on your pops is always just eh, in my opinion. They're never like super great. They're never like super bad. They're just kind of like eh. It could be better. It could be worse. If you ever have like a problem with your bobblehead sitting like right, you can kind of like sometimes manipulate this screw down here to make it sit a little better. For some reason, this one's really tight though, and it's not going to let me manipulate it. It is kind of sitting a little crooked, which is okay, I guess. Uh, it's not going to bother me. I most of my stuff inside of the box so it's going to be inside of the box you'll never really know this is a really 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 awesome pop and and i don't know if you know this but ever since i've watched venom and i've seen carnage i've kind of really been into the whole venom and carnage thing so so i'm really happy to get my hands on this venom these guys maybe not so much maybe these will go in in a in a in a sale pile maybe they'll go in a giveaway pile who knows i tend to give away a lot of this stuff that i don't actually collect so so just stay on the lookout for that i appreciate you coming and hanging out with me and I'm going to catch you next time. Have a good one.